Okay, our beloveds, it is good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, good whatever you are doing. You will find in the coming days, weeks, and months how your construct of what is real, what has been real, and what you hope will continue to be real will change. Your idea of stability and safety will vastly change and your construct of what you want, have always wanted and continue to want will vastly change. You will find that as you simplify your lives, that you will see how life and what you have been told that you want is really not what you want at all. It feeds the system. It is all so interconnected that it keeps the system alive. What if nobody, and we mean nobody, owned houses or structures that were permanently attached to the land? You would not have electricity to pay for. You would not have property taxes to pay for. You would have nothing that you would pay into the governmental system to sustain it. If nobody owned anything and you just simply floated around on the land, how much easier would life be? How much easier would your choices be because you wouldn't have to go to a job from eight to five or longer in order to pay for a roof to be over your head, to be heated, and to be safe. What if you just simply were like nomads moving about, going from point of interest to point of interest because that is where you were being drawn to? Can you imagine how your lives would change if you just went from place to place based on intuitive pull. Instead of being forced to get up every morning with an alarm clock that goes off three times before you get up because you're no longer inspired to do what you're doing. And then you drag your sorry ass out of bed, have four cups of coffee during the morning, just to get you somewhat alert and awake to do the job that you have no interest in doing in order to pay for the roof over your head in a city where you're no longer interested in living. Now, wouldn't that be different? Picture a world where nobody desires to own anything, where you just simply share and accommodate one another. Now, wouldn't that be different? You all have been taught by the patriarchy that owning something is valuable, right? Men own women. Men owned slaves. Men owned all the property. White men controlled the entire structure. And now you all are saying, we don't want this anymore. So what could it really look like? We ask that you begin to really step outside of the construct and believe that there is something out there that is vastly different and better, really sustainable. But you all need to really embrace something new, something rigid less, meaning there are no boundaries, and flexible beyond what any of you could imagine because you all have been raised or born into this construct of ownership. What if you all just said, the humanity owns this planet as a whole, indivisible, for all to enjoy. 
no boundaries, no limitations, only community mindset and appreciation. This is not an idea that many of you have ever thought of, considered, or honestly been interested in because you're all trying to own a bigger piece of the pie so that you will be more secure, more safe, and have a better lifestyle and then pass it on to your heirs. But nobody thinks about what it would be like not to own anything, but to own everything indivisible by all. It is your belief system which keeps you in this fear-based vibration because you try to get the biggest pot of gold before you die. But what if that was not the purpose? What if simply love, being love, giving love, receiving love, sharing love, and experiencing love was all that it was about. And that your lifestyles, and that your means, and your manners, and your mechanisms, and your motives, and your mechanical abilities were simply love. How would that change the way that you live? Begin to dream a bigger and better dream where you simply share everything, care for everything, and own nothing. It is a vastly foreign concept, but we ask that you just simply open up your vibrational, intuitive abilities to this energy out there that is attempting to come in and then feel what feels right. What feels right and what feels safe and honorable for all. You will get there. You are mostly pulled through the eye of the needle. Most of you have lost many of the limiting constructs which have held you hostage. But now that you have lost those constructs, what do you replace them with? And it is simply love. That is it. Fill those gaps in your Swiss cheese with love to make the sheet or the block whole once again. You will see as you begin to move through the other side of the eye of the needle that your vision and your belief systems morph and change into what looks and feels like love. And love is not ownership. Love is lack of ownership. Love is setting free that which you desire to own and giving it back to the universe for others to enjoy and then seeing if it sticks around on its own accord. You will see this new idea of love so vastly differently than you did before because it will not be based on insecurity and insufficiency, but instead on safety and stability and intuitive knowing of what vibrates within your vibrational field. And you will know what is yours, not because you own it, but because it chooses you, because you vibrate in harmony with that which is around you. You will find what this feels like, and when you do, you will feel so amazingly safe and secure that you will no longer trust in the beneficial nature and the protective nature and the nurturing nature and the supportive nature of this universe that you live within. So let go of your fear uh, an additional step and just float, trusting that all is well, all is well, all is well. And so it is, namaste.